Hi, my name's Saren, and today I'm going to show you how to make some really cool metallic paint with some metallic dispersion called Super Shine Silver. This is really concentrated, um, made out of aluminum, really sparkly. There's no binder in here. Uh, it's part of our paint component system, so you have to mix it into a binder. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, the binder I'm going to use is Urethane 32. I can use um, acrylic, but acrylic is milky when it's wet, whereas this is clear when it's wet, so we can see the color right away. We don't have to wait until it dries. So you start with your binder. Uh, the, the binder determines the volume of paint that you're going to make, so I don't want to make too much. I'm going to show you a lot of different colors. In fact, we're going to focus on something called transparent oxides which are super beautiful, really transparent, and they're great to use to make a um, gold with silver. So you can turn your silver into lots of golds and coppers uh, that are not gonna tarnish on you. Um, because normally if you're using a bronze to make a gold, that is eventually gonna tarnish. So this is a great way to make a stable gold or copper that won't tarnish. So here we go. So I started with my urethane and this stuff is super concentrated, as I said, so we don't have to use a lot. Just a little squirt. Let me stir it up. And let's see what we got here. See if this is opaque enough. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I could decide to add more to make it even more opaque, but that does look pretty good. Um, the other thing that can happen, because urethanes are self-leveling, and this is a metal, the metal can wanna swirl around and move. So if that's, and which can also be a really cool paint effect. But if you want it to be really opaque and solid, this is looking pretty good, you have the option of adding a little thickener, so I'm gonna do that just to be safe. Um, to just sort of thicken up the paint a little bit and that's going to keep the um, pigment from swirling around. Now it's just the metals that do this, not the pigment dispersions. So the super shine silver can sometimes give you this swirly effect. So I'm just going to thicken it and show you what that looks like. Okay, now I'm going to start using one of my transparent oxides. Let's start with um, Azo Russet. Super beautiful, super transparent. You always want to give these a shake before you use them. A little tap is good too to loosen. Um, there's no any kind of filler in this to aid in suspension, so you can always get some settling of the pigment contents. So, a couple drops, because again, these are super concentrated. And I'm gonna do, I'm glad I didn't add more Super Shine Silver because it's, this is kind of hard to overcome the silver right now. So with just a couple drops gives you something like this, but of course, because we can add the color ourselves, we can control this color and make it deeper. So I'm gonna add a little squirt more. And that's gonna get a lot richer. And we could keep going. But you can see that this becomes a really super beautiful kind of um, really warm coppery color. And I'll go one more darker shade. we're pretty much at full saturation because it's not getting that much deeper at this point. Okay, so I'm gonna label that and we're gonna move on to our next metallic color. So that was Azo Russet. Let's move on to, um, let's do Ben's Medazzo Brown. That is really nice. That one's kind of um, reddish. So again, we start with our Binder. 
pigment tap and shake. Benzmedazzo brown. We've got Benzmedazzo brown here. I just put a couple of drops in here. Um, and you can see that mixes right in. Again, this is a very transparent color. These pigments are done at their finest grind, so it reveals how transparent they can be and still be really, really rich. Okay, so that's what that one looks like by itself. I'm doing this with the urethane 32, which is self-leveling. So this does not retain a brush stroke. It gives you this really like nice enamel surface. You always want to use very um, glossy binders when you're making metallics. Otherwise, it's going to really kind of kill the sheen. Um, that can also be beautiful. You could have this sort of subtle metallic thing happen if you use a matte binder, like a silica flat or a urethane flat. But for this demonstration, we're going to stick with glossy. So urethane 32 is super glossy. As you can see, that's self-leveling. So it's got this really beautiful enamel-like finish. Uh, now I'm going to add my super shine silver to make this a metallic. And again, this stuff is really concentrated, so just a little bit in there. So here I'm doing the reverse process where I'm adding the color first and then the metallic. Okay, add a little bit more. So this will, I've already reached opacity, but um, with the metallic because aluminum is nice and opaque, but I can lighten the color by adding more of the super shine silver. Okay, a little bit more. Good. And that one was Ben's Medazzo Brown. Okay, now I'm going to show you um, Quinacridone Gold, which is an amazing extinct pigment and we still have a very large supply of it because we made it our business to collect the last of what was out there. Uh, this is used to be a very popular color um, when it was more widely available, but um, it's spectacular. Um, and it also makes a great gold once you mix it with the aluminum. So it's beautiful by itself. It was used actually um, industrially in making a lot of violin finishes, but it also became very popular in the artist market. Um, so we still have tons of it and we still offer it in all the sizes, um, unlike a lot of our other esoteric extinct pigments. Um, what do I mean by extinct? Well, this was originally made by the um, DuPont Pigment Company and then uh, DuPont was bought by Sibagagi, it was made by Sibagagi. Um, and then for whatever reason it becomes not cost effective for larger pigment companies to continue to produce the pigment. so they delete it um, and then it's extinct and we call it extinct. But so we are proud to still offer this color and I'm gonna show it to you. So again, I'm gonna start with my urethane 32 because it's nice and clear when it's wet so we can see our colors right away. Super glossy, give it a tap, give it a shake, a couple drops, stir it up. Now that is not full saturation yet, but I'm sort of liking how light the color is right now. So I'm gonna do a little stroke of that. Again, the nice thing about dispersions is you control the amount of pigment that you're adding. So you can add as little or as much as you want. And also the dispersions of course are super strong because they're at their finest grind. So a little bit goes a long way. That's getting deeper. I'm gonna give it a dose more. But you can see how it's 
retaining its transparent qualities. Quinacridones as a pigment group are usually very, very transparent. They're some of the most transparent pigments. So that's at full saturation right there. Okay, now I'm gonna to start to add my super shine silver. Our aluminum concentrate. So now all of a sudden I have turned silver into gold. And there it is. Woo! Yeah. And we can lighten that up by using more super shine. This is a really nice, um, super strong aluminum concentrate that uh, we import from Germany, actually. They make a really nice dispersion. It's hard to find a good metallic dispersion that stays suspended, and this one really, really does. Okay, so you can see how intense that metallic is. I'm gonna do one more dose of Super Shine to lighten it up even more. go. That's quinacridone gold with super shine silver. Okay, now we're going to do another beautiful transparent oxide called azo golden brown. So I'm going to start with my urethane again. And my azo golden brown. Do keep it light at first. Um, this pigment is a little deeper and darker, still has some kind of red undertones, but not as red as the benzamidazo brown. So I'm just stirring it until it's fully mixed in, so we're not going to see sort of swirls of the pigment in there, but of course that can also be beautiful. But right now I'm going for evenness. So that's with just a little bit of the pigment added. Okay, and I'm gonna add a little more. Again, using this self-leveling, um, highly glossy enamel-like binder called Urethane 32. Okay, that's pretty much fully saturated, but I'll add a little bit more to make it a little deeper. Not, maybe not quite at full saturation yet. Full saturation is when the pigment isn't going to get any darker. You've hit the color that it is, and it's not going to get any brighter, and there really isn't any point adding more pigment. You're just sort of wasting pigment beyond full saturation. Okay. Now I'm going to start adding my Super Shine Silver. Start with a little. So, this is going to give me a really nice deep coppery color. A little bit of a red cast. A little bit more. And try it one more time. So the more silver I add, the lighter it's going to get until I hit full saturation with that also, which I'm pretty much there. I think I was there. Okay. And that one, let's mark it, was Azo Golden Brown. I didn't leave room to write it right on the side. Okay. 
Now we're going to do Cattail Brown, another beautiful transparent oxide. This one is very light, not as deep as the last oh, one, the Azo Golden Brown, uh, but it makes a beautiful gold when mixed with the Super Shine Silver. So, once again, starting with my Urethane 32, because it's glossy and clear when it's wet. Okay, give that a shake. All right. So this one's kind of like a caramelly color. Very, very light. I haven't hit full saturation yet, of course, but that's a little bit more. Okay, that's pretty much full saturation. I think I will start adding my Super Shine Silver now. Start with a little. Although actually, this stuff is so strong that that was just a lot. So even though I just put in a little bit, that was a lot. Okay, and then we have a beautiful gold. not going to get much lighter than that, but I'll add a little bit more just to see. Because why not? We can do whatever we want. Okay. So those are some variations with Cattail Brown and Super Shine Silver. Just right on that and call it good. Cat brown. Okay, so this is going to be the last transparent oxide I'm going to show you today, which is going to bring it to six. We do have 11 of them, um, but we're running out of time, so we're going to just end with azomethine orange, which is very warm and makes a beautiful, beautiful metallic. So let's do our process here again with the urethane 32. Tap and shake our pigment. This is pretty um, bright and brilliant. super transparent. So I'll start with a little bit of pigment as we have done previously and continue to add until we hit full saturation. I'm pretty much at full saturation right there. It's pretty deep. But I will add just a teensy bit more to make sure. start adding my super shine silver a little bit first so this one's gonna be like a fiery copper Woo! at the end here. Really lighten it up. Okay. And those are some nice metallic variations with azomethine orange. Thanks for watching and come on down and see us and get some great metallic paint and some transparent oxides if you make beautiful transparencies.